Hey everyone, welcome to today's video about uh, reviewing for upcoming exam, a week from the day I'm recording this, so Monday, April 6th is when the exam will be posted, um, so look for it then on Canvas, alright, uh, I haven't written it yet, so I don't know exactly how many questions there are and things like that. But it'll, it'll still be structured like most exams that you've uh, had in the class. Okay, um, they'll just be <clears throat> right. Uh, maybe slightly different types of questions. Maybe some that are a little bit more. Um, you have to think a little bit more about or things like that. I'm not going to try to make the questions significantly more difficult than ones that we've seen, per se. Um, but I also because it's open notes uh, and things like that. Don't necessarily want to make the question something that you can just Google and easily find the answer to. You know, maybe you can find a similar problem and you know things like that. But we'll see. So, um, right, you, you still need to work on this by yourself, but you can use open notes and things like that. Um, and so we'll just kind of see, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'll write the exam and things like that. And, and as I mentioned in the syllabus and in some of my notes and things like that, that the good faith points that I normally award to exams may still be there, but it might not. Uh, you know, for example, if because of doing this thing, open notes, you have a little bit longer to work on it, things like that means that everyone, um, you know, does extremely well on the exam, that's great, but I may then have to, like, not necessarily add a curve, you know what I mean? Like, that's what the good faith points are, so basically curve the exam. And so I don't know if I'll really need to curve these exams or not. Previous exams in class, um, having those good faith points does curve the exam roughly around where I would expect a grade distribution for a typical class to be. Okay, um, but yeah, so we'll see, all right? All right, so, <clears throat> so I, I guess I'll put some equations to know. Obviously, this is open notes, so you don't have to memorize these, okay? But it's good to have these things on hand, right? Because while the exam is open notes and, and you will have a little bit longer to work on it, you won't have an infinite amount of time. So if you spend too much time trying to look up something for a problem, right then you're going to spend a lot of time on that problem without actually trying to answer the problem and it may you know make it so you don't have enough time to do the entire exam okay so that's the that's the point of me still making the exam timed you still get a little bit extra time but it is still timed right and then the point of doing that is, is to make it so you know you have to kind of know some things like i would expect you to know in typical in-class exams okay and so here's still some of the kind of Equations, so I expect you to know what are the energies for a particle in a box, um, for the harmonic oscillator, for rotations in two and three dimensions, right? These are all relatively simple equations, so you should kind of know what they are, know the limits of the quantum numbers involved in those equations, right? Whether or not these different systems have zero point energies, things like that, right? Uh, the hydrogen atom. We should be familiar with roughly the form, but you don't need to memorize the exact equation. There's a bunch of constants, mass of the electron, charge of an electron, and a bunch of other things, permittivity, free space, and so on, involved in it, and it's not worth trying to memorize the entire thing, but uh, yeah. Okay. You should also be familiar how to set up these type of integrals, right? How would I calculate the expectation value of an operator, right? Um, which is also called the average value, uh, depending on, on who you talk to. Um, right? How do I normalize a wave function? How do I calculate that normalization constant? How do I calculate the probability of being in some region of space? Right? How do I find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors? Or not the eigenvectors, but how do you find the eigenvalues given a wave function in an operator? Right? What is the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, the Rolle wavelength, things like that? Yeah. Uh, right, a lot of concepts related with you know discrete energy levels, the wave particle duality we started talking about at the beginning, quantum mechanics, photoelectric effect, operators, observables, um, right, and to be able to 
you know, um, answer questions related to knowing the wave function, how to calculate things, or what the wave functions look like, and, and kind of physical descriptions of your systems. Right, and as a final reminder, right, the exam is open notes. You can use your notes. You should not be talking with anyone else, discussing exam problems with anyone else, right? If they're open notes, the exam will be posted on Canvas. Uh, you will need to upload your answers to Canvas before the time limit runs out once you start the exam. The time limit doesn't start until you open up the exam on Canvas. It will warn you and everything when you start, um, right? <clears throat> If you're having issues uploading the files, you, you can email me uh, and, and contact me, right? Try to make a note of when you start the exams, uh, when, when you finish, when you send me an email of things, right? I prefer PDFs to be uploaded. Again, you can get the, um, I'll look it up right now, I have it on my phone, uh, the Adobe Scan app, right? It's a very, convenient app, very useful, very user friendly. Uh, I've used it a number of times myself already. And so I suggest you use that to create a PDF, PDF of your file. Then you can just email it to yourself or something like that, download it on the computer and upload it through Canvas, okay? Um, <clears throat> again, I want you to be uploading it through Canvas so I know that you have taken the exam within the time window that you're allowed to take it. Okay. If your browser crashes while you're taking it, it should be fine. You should be able to reopen your browser and everything will be a-okay. Right. Um, <clears throat> so that's kind of general information about the exam, what to expect, uh, right, uh, and, and things of that nature. And I will post uh, some more videos in terms of actually going through some of the example questions on the exam, okay?